Welcome back guys. In this new video, we're going to take a look at chemical reactions when the calorimetry is done under constant pressure. Now, what you're going to see here is this image right here. We're going to say that this is called a coffee calorimeter. We're going to say it's used basically to help us find the enthalpy of a reaction. And remember, enthalpy just means delta H. So the coffee, co coffee cup calorimeter has certain parts to it. Here we have the stir, which just helps us to mix the water that surrounds our sample. Here we're going to have our thermometer, which measures the temperature change involved when the sample undergoes its chemical reaction. The sample is going to be releasing heat. The water is going to be absorbing that heat. The thermometer is just to calculate the change in temperature that the water undergoes. Here we're going to have the two styrofoam cups that are put placed together. And they work as insulation. So that way no heat is lost to the outside environment. So all the temperature or energy changes that occur are going to happen between the water and the sample. Here we're going to have our water. And our water acts as the surroundings. And here we're going to have our sample which is going to undergo the chemical reaction. This represents our system. So remember, under constant pressure, it's possible for us to calculate the enthalpy of the reaction through the use of this coffee cup calorimeter. 